Hello, in this Pixaflux video tutorial, you will learn how to combine multiple images to create materials, and how to compose these materials into more advanced materials. We'll create a procedural MOS material with all its PBR textures. The MOS material will have some fresh, moist, very green areas, and other dry, more yellow areas. We'll create a clay material from images downloaded from textures.com. The link is provided in the description of the video. Download the 1024 by 1024 images. We'll compose the moss and clay materials into a final material. Let's start with the fresh moss. Add a pearly noise node. Set size to 1024 by 1024. Set frequency to 16 by 16. Check auto level so that the noise image covers the whole monochromatic range. Add a blend node. The blend node will mix two colors using the pearly noise as a mask. Set the background color. Set the foreground color. We'll use a random noise image to add more granularity to the green moss. Add a blend node and connect the random noise as a mask. Set the foreground opacity to 1. Set the blend mode as multiply and lower the opacity. Now, let's add the dry moss. For the dry moss, we can duplicate the graph, dragging while holding down the shift key. Change the seed of the pearly noise. Set the background color. Set the foreground of the blend node. Change the seed of the random noise and adjust the opacity of the blend node. Add a blend node to mix the fresh and dry moss. Duplicate one of the pearly noise nodes and set the frequency to 32 by 32. To get larger black and white areas, set the range low and high values. Now let's create the normal texture from the fresh and dry pearly noise outputs. Add a mix node and connect the nodes. Set the mix method to average. Duplicate a random noise to add some high frequency noise. Convert the random noise to a value image. Add a blend node to mix the images. And lower the opacity of the random noise. Convert the image to normal. Set source as height. And filter to pre-width 3 by 3. Let's create a material node that will collect all the MOS images and connect it to the 3D model in the same viewport. Add a material node. Connect the albedo and normal images. Add a scene material node. In the scene window, load the plain 10x10 object file. Set the metalness of the material to zero. Let's create the roughness texture. Duplicate a random noise node. Convert it to value. Add a levels node to increase the roughness. And connect it to the material. Now let's create the ambient occlusion texture from the same pearly noises as the normal texture. Add an ambient occlusion node connected to the pearly mix. Connect it to the material occlusion. And set the radius to 10 and check seamless. For the most high texture we'll use again the pearly mix for medium frequency bumps and a new pearly noise for low frequency. Duplicate a pearly noise node and set the frequency to 4x4. Add a blend node and connect the Perlin mix and the new Perlin noise. Lower the opacity. Connect the blend node to a material height input. In the scene window, set the plane tessellation to 5 and the displacement to 5. 
now we can see some displacement in the 3D model, driven by the height texture. Now let's create the clay material. Add a material reader node and load the clay textures. Set metalness to zero. Add a scene material node to display the clay material in the scene viewport. Now let's blend these two materials. Add a material blend node and connect the inputs. Duplicate a perlin noise and set the frequency to 4x4. Connect the perlin noise to a material blend mask. Add a scene material node. To get larger clay and moss areas, set the low and high range. These are the mixed clay and moss material textures. Now let's add more volume to the moss areas by adding the clay and moss high textures. Add material split to the clay material to get the clay height image. Add a value add node and connect the clay height. Connect also the moss height. Connect the value add to the moss material. You can see how the moss looks like a soft pillow on top of the clay soil. You can modify attributes in the node graph to get different textures. Try different noise seeds. Or a different clay moss coverage. The clay and moss textures are seamless. We can use a material tile node to verify this. This is how you can use Pixaflux to create material compositions from procedural images and existing textures. Thank you for watching this Pixaflux video tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in Twitter and Facebook.